Hello. Hi, guys. It is me, Taylor. I'm so excited for you guys to hear this song and see this video. How is everyone doing today? Someone said, I hope Taylor's van didn't break down again. Can you guys hear me? Can you see me? Is it going? Is it working? You can see me? Is it working? <laughs> Hello, I'm sorry I'm late. I was having a little technical difficulties, but I'm back. I'm here. How is everyone doing? Are you excited to see the video? I am so freaking excited. Okay, good. Yay, it's working. Yay. <laughs> I've never done one of these before, so I'm super excited. Um, I cannot wait for you guys to see this music video. I really hope that you guys love it as much as I do. It was so fun to make. Cassidy is amazing. Ricky said, where's Banks? Um, she'll probably be digging at my door here in like two seconds. So hopefully that does not happen. And if she does, well, she can join the live too if she wants. Um, it seems like you guys have been really liking Coma, which is amazing. I'm trying to see. Um, but I just figured it would be really fun to come on and like chat with you guys before the music video starts. And uh, Joe said hi from Philly. Hi, how you doing? How is everyone? Aw, <laughs> amazing. Um, but we did this video with um, my boyfriend, actually, Dalton. I'm sure some of you guys know who he is, but he's an amazing director. Um, and he's done a lot of like social media stuff for me and a lot of visuals for me. And um, <laughs> someone said, Coma is the best song. And then it got even better with Cassidy. I know, right? I was so shocked when I heard her singing on it and her voice. Oh, we have a guest. I stand corrected. She was here the whole time. She just wasn't ready to make her appearance, but she's here now. So <laughs> we're hanging out. Um, This is Banks, everybody. Say hi. <laughs> she was just napping. She had a big, big nap. Um. But yeah, I am so excited for this music video. Um, we had a really small crew. Um, if you guys know Ricky Jab, I saw he was in this. Uh, <laughs> I saw he's in this chat, but um, he played guitar for us. We had uh, Cassidy's uh, bassist Carl in the video as well, and my friend Christian who came and played the drums. So it was a cool little mix of like both of our bands and it just felt really harmonious and amazing and she is so awesome and so talented and so easy to work with so down to earth and so i'm i'm just like i'm really excited for this and i really hope you guys love it <laughs> by the way it's Brittany. just wanted to use my fan account i was gonna say i was like wait taylor acorn is in here <laughs> um Someone said she's so cute and the cat too. Oh, well, thank you. I would say Binks is definitely um, cuter than I am, but thank you so much. Um, I am just so excited for this. Taylor or Ricky, how do we invite people dis to Discord? Some people here. Um, I am so bad with technology. Ricky, you might know that question. <laughs> Will you ever come to Oklahoma? I would love to come to Oklahoma. Um, a lot of people were asking about like tour and why we kept it so small. We just wanted to do like East Coast for a few days and just kind of see how that does. And it's been a it's been a crazy response. Also, if you guys bought tickets to um, tour, I thank I cannot thank you guys enough. Um, it's been insane. Such a cool like, I don't know. It's just been so exciting and such a cool moment and really special. So I, I hope that we can make it really awesome for you guys and you'll have um, a good time. Someone said, come to the West Coast. I would love to. And I'm going to make my way out there, I promise. Someone said, we need Nashville night too. 
Mm, we might have to add one. We might have to add one. Um, someone said a mod, uh, for whoever asked the question about, um, discord, someone said a mod should be able to send the links. Um, but anyways, do you guys have any questions about like the music video, what it was like, uh, writing with Cassidy, like anything about the song in general, like what it's about? I'm so happy to answer any of those questions for you and, um, yeah, all that good stuff. Someone said, so ready for this tour. Me too. I'm like getting so antsy. I'm ready to get back out there and see you guys and sing for you and just hang. So it'll be, it'll be really fun. Um, oh yeah, I bought my tickets for the Toronto show. Joint tour to the UK with Cassidy. That would be amazing. I've been, I've been trying to see if she'd want to come out with us. And she, uh, I think, I think for right now, um, we're going to, we're going to do things separately, but we might, we might come back together and potentially do like co-headline or something someday. So I need all the Cassidy. It's I died over this combo. I, it was really crazy. Um, I've been a fan of Hey Monday since I was in high school. Um, I kind of, I think I told a few people, but, um, six months was actually the first song I ever learned to play on guitar. It was like my best friend Kelly and I's favorite song. And I would cover Hey Monday for like talent shows and stuff, which is like, I didn't even tell Cassidy that, but <laughs> that's what happened. And, um, it was just really cool. You know, I'd been a fan for a long time. Her and I were both, you know, country artists at the same time. Um, she was absolutely crushing it. She still is crushing it. And, um, a few, I want to say maybe like a year or two ago now, it was when I had first, um, done a cover of, uh, first date on TikTok. And I know that there's probably some people on here that have, that remember that, um, it was a, a long time ago now, it seems, but, um, she duetted it. And I thought that that was like absolutely insane. And then we just ended up a few months later, like connecting and we wrote together and this was actually the first song we'd ever written together. So it's really cool that like the first time coming together with not only somebody who I look up to so much, but just like somebody with so much talent and like natural talent at that too. Like she is insane. She can hit all of the notes. Um, and a little inside when Coma had first released like the original version where it was just me. It was still kind of a collab because all of her vocals were the harmonies on the song. Um, she just did such a good job with it. I wanted to keep her on there. And yeah, and um, we decided just to come back together and do it as a duo. And I feel like it's finally gotten like a new life and it's like a new, like a new breath of fresh air and it's it's just been really really amazing to see how much you guys are resonating with it and how much you guys like it and um I love this song so much it's it's one of my favorites to play live um it's one of like the <laughs> one of the hardest ones to play live um uh physically and emotionally so um it just it makes me really excited that you guys are loving it so much EP September 22nd. Also, I cannot wait. I cannot wait. I've, I've been waiting to put out a project for like seven years. And so I feel like I've lived enough life. It's time to finally let out all of the things that I've been able to write about the last few years. And it'll be all yours on September 22nd, which also is the day after my birthday. So if that's not incentive to pre-order my EP for my birthday, you have to do it. Um, Jennifer asked, hey, who are your favorite artists? Oh my gosh, I feel like I have so many. Um, tonight, I'm going to see my favorite band of all time, the Goo Goo Dolls, which I am like, like still freaking out about. I've never been able to see them live. I've wanted to see them live for years. I listen to the Goo Goo Dolls every single time. Um, I'm like getting ready before a show. It's so relaxing. It's so nostalgic. And I feel like I need that going into like a crazy set. So I always listen to them. Um, so Goo Goo Dolls, favorite. Matchbox 20, favorite. 
Um, oh my gosh. Newer artists. I love Charlotte Sands. I think she's amazing. Um, Knox is amazing as well. There's so many. Um, I'm a huge Evanescence fan, ride or die, ride or die Evanescence fan. And oh my gosh, I just, there's just like so many, there's so many like talented people coming up too, that I'm just like a fangirl of everyone. So it's really, it's really hard to pick a favorite. It's really hard to pick a favorite. Um, but I have a lot of bands that I love too. Story So Far and oh my gosh. Um, my mind is going blank. Um, weird, but lately I've been listening to Pink a lot. I feel like she's just... Pink is everything. I'll say that. Did you know about the cast you when... We were talking about Hey Monday. Um, I didn't. So I honestly, the Cassidy duo, that was actually a fairly new thing. Um, I, I will say Coma is on the EP. Um, and it was, it was an idea that I had, but honestly, I was kind of afraid to bring it up to her because obviously she is like her and she's incredible and I, I would never want anybody to think that I was like taking advantage of it or um like who she was or anything like that but she actually came to me and was like what if we did this and so it kind of worked out and I was just like here we go yeah let's do it and um we got the we got her vocal back and it was just incredible but uh, somebody asked Paramore. Paramore is also a huge, a huge favorite of mine. Um, I grew up listening to Paramore, one of my favorite bands. I've seen them so many times live and she's in like insane. Um, and honestly a, a big like influence on how I perform and stuff now. So it's, it's a big, like, I don't know. It's, it's it warms my heart when people say that I remind them of like young Haley because I, I definitely do take a lot of influence from her. She's just amazing. Um, someone said, let's get Haley Williams for a duo. Yeah, definitely the next, <laughs> the next step. But, um, I'm so excited guys. We got one more minute until the video comes out. I'm so excited. Someone asked motionless and white. I do. I really like motionless and white. I won't lie. Um, brand new eyes is one of my favorite albums. Same. Probably my all-time favorite album by them. Uh, let's see. <laughs> you guys are being so nice. Um, someone said, do you listen to Lizzie McAlpine? I do, and I love her, and I did actually a cover of Ceilings with Ricky. We never put it out, though, and if you guys think we should put it out, let me know. Um, but I do love her. She's, like, so just, like, easy to listen to and just... I listen to her a lot when I'm like doing work and stuff. Someone said Derek Sanders feature in Taylor Acorn one. I would love that. That would be incredible. What do you think about Demi Lovato doing rock? I think it's incredible. I think it's amazing. I'm so happy to see her like redoing all of her old songs and stuff like that. It's, it's been really awesome to watch, but guys, it is live now. The video is live. So I'm going to I'm going to go and I'm going to let you guys watch that video but I will stay here in the chat and I will be able to chat with you and all that good stuff. So hopefully you guys love the video. We worked so hard on it. We put a lot of love and heart and soul into this video so I hope you guys like it. Um have fun watching. Happy watching and I will see you guys very soon. I love you all so much. I'll have to start doing more of these. <laughs> All right, have fun watching the video, guys. I love you so much, and I will see you all very, very, very soon. Bye.